Hey YouTube. So today I'd like to try to answer some questions. I've been getting a lot of questions about my fifth wheel on my tow truck, my camper tow truck. And it is the commercial hitch that came on the truck. notice this didn't have very high rise mounts on it so I had to come in here with a piece of uh, 4x4 quarter inch wall tubing and raise this uh, fifth wheel plate up 4 inches because it was too short for my camper to make it ride level a lot of people's concern is that this is a this fifth wheel is fixed left and right there's no play like uh, we'll walk right over here see most RV fifth wheels have uh, left and right play like on this B&W fifth wheel right here it's got the front and back and then it also swivels right here on this uh, bolt that's a pivot point. You can see it there now. It's got a shock on it. That's why I can't. I can't move it. But there it goes. And that takes a lot of stress off your camper. And I do get the concern that this not being able to swivel left and right is going to transfer pressure. I guess you could say into this uh, kingpin box and transfer through the frame and everything but uh, I thought about that when I decided to use the commercial fifth wheel and I had thought about building a mount to put that fifth wheel off of that super duty over there so I could use it on both uh, both trucks because I have to use the four wheel drive to pull the camper up the driveway because I've got a steep driveway and this won't pull it up. So, uh, but anyway, and, and, I, and I didn't want to lose the commercial fifth wheel because uh, I just, I like having that option because once in a while I'll borrow a uh, equipment trailer to move some, uh, a backhoe that we've got. And I like having the, still having the hitch. And I don't like having the hitch all the way back here on the back. A lot of, a lot of trucks do that. And as, as you can see here, I've got my fifth wheel as far to the front as I can get it. And I do that so that, so that my overall length is as short as possible. Um, and I feel like I can get around a little better like that so and I'm not trying to haul anything up here no uh, golf carts or smart cars or nothing like that so I like keeping it short and when this is hooked up I've got a ton of room still back here and uh, if, if I had if these mounts were further forward I would move the camper even further forward but um, but it, it, it does really well the way it is and so far I haven't had any trouble uh, with the uh, fifth wheel right here the, the kingpin box <clears throat> but we'll we'll hook it up and uh, put some cameras I got a couple GoPros I'll set up and we'll we'll try to uh, get a couple different angles on this thing and just see see if it's flexing any or putting it in any kind of bind uh i mean the camper is heavy enough i can feel it in the truck when like if i cross a little uneven spot and the truck will do this number i can feel the camper it'll it'll rock the truck so it's transferring some of that give back into the suspension of the truck which is what it's supposed to do um 
so anyway we'll get some cameras set up i'll get this thing hooked up and we'll see what happens uh, the place we're going to camp is uh it's some pretty pretty narrow roads and twisty and uh curvy roads so it's uh it's gonna be about an hour drive but it'll uh it'll really put if, if anywhere is going to put this in, in a bind this is going to be it and i'll go through and, and pick out the uh places that you can really see something I'll, I'll cut out all the boring stuff so anyway let's get it hooked up and we'll uh we'll have a look and see what uh what it looks like 